Hello, Media Wala viewers. This is Vijay Rajvedya from India Currents Magazine in California. What I am going to say today may sound strange. I want to say thank you to our government officials. We have criticized them, found fault with them so often that it has become our second nature. But if you take a worldview at this moment, when we are passing through this unprecedented COVID crisis, Indian officials and even political leadership at large have done very good. If you don't believe me, just compare America and India. India has four times the people as America, and they are all squeezed in one third of the land area America has. Now, look at the COVID cases in both countries. Per Center for Disease Control, on July 2nd, the USA had about 27 lakhs known COVID cases, with about 1 lakh and 28,000 deaths. Compare this with India. In India, we have 6 lakhs and 26,000 known cases with little over 18,000 deaths due to COVID. Even if you factor in all distortions, discrepancies, and deficiencies in these estimates, India has been a shining example of containing and controlling this menace. I'm not denying that Indian bureaucracy does not fall short. In fact, I can identify two most important areas where it needs major improvement. One is their communication skills, and the other is their love for complexity. You can see this in most application forms you submit to government departments. A simple SIM card application used to be as daunting as an application for a passport. There's another example. This year, the Revenue Secretary raised income tax slabs from seven to nine because it would be highly inequitable if there were only one or two slabs. Quite right. But you know, I had a feeling that his desire for a more complex tax structure was originating from his education. I correctly surmised that he is an engineer, which a quick look, quick check on Google confirmed. I am an engineer, so I know. We engineers love complexity, and engineering doesn't train you to be a good communicator. Our administrative services have a lot of engineers. They retain their characteristic engineering attitude. However, management and administrations work best on the principle of simplicity and good communication. Engineers are not at fault here, but the training of our officers definitely is. Complexity and poor communication leads to errors, and errors cause inefficiency. Inefficiencies in the system encourage unethical conduct. But it may be easier to deal with complexity than poor communication. Let me explain. In the days of Aadhaar and digitization of information, complexity can be hidden from the users. If you can eliminate manual tax assessment and replace it with an electronic system, complex tax structure will cease to be an issue. The revenue secretary can have more than nine tax slabs, all the way to infinity, to be fair. Applications for SIM cards, etc., only need to ask basic information from the applicant and fetch the rest of it from already available data with the government. All we need to do is to enact strong regulations specifying data sharing protocols and safeguarding individual privacy. However, there is no easy alternative to hide bad communication.
they have to retrain. And there, even a chai wala can teach a thing or two about good communication. Until next time, friends, this is Vijay Rajvidya from California.